Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we are playing Dragon Quest VI, and we've got to find Prince Holsey. Um, also, in other translations, Prince Howard. Um, I've read a couple different things. Uh, the one that seemed to be the most helpful was, he will always hide on the floor that you lose him. I don't know if that's going to work. are going bonkers. Hey, bud. You're okay, buddy. Oh, they're so anxious. They are just anxious, anxious dogs right now. It's been that way. I took uh, Teddy to the vet the other day because he... Um... Oh, man. Because he had uh, an infection in his ear. Apparently, um, when it's really humid, um, dogs can get ear mites, and we were afraid it would be ear mites, and that's like there it goes. That's like the worst case scenario. Buddy, it's okay, buddy. Lay down, buddy boy. You're okay, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's he's just so anxious. Yeah, you're okay, bud. Um Yeah, you're okay, bud. He's right here. Yeah. You're okay, bud. Um yeah, ear mites is the worst case scenario because uh, if it is ear mites, you basically have to treat every animal in the house. Um, we were hoping it wouldn't be that. It's it's not like terrible. It happens. It apparently happens to cats more often than dogs. Uh, I read <laughs> I read something online that was like it'll happen to cats more often than dogs because of their lifestyle. And I was like, that sounds kind of racist against cats. Um, okay, so he's not there. Um, the stone beast. It's entirely possible that I may have to go fight the dude, find Holsey, leave, get all my stuff, fight the dude again. Um, which would be pretty awful, but, um, you know, that's just how the game works, I suppose. Mm hmm. All right, let's fight him. I hate this guy, he stinks. Tactixio, follow orders. Chamoto, rock throw is kind of cool. Let's try the sandstorm. We're gonna do spirit punch. Oh, no battle skill, whoops. No, not item. Um. Let's raise our defense. Nice. This guy's like 900 hit points or something ridiculous. Wish I could just tell him to do that every time. Encircles the group in a magic block? I don't think that's going to work, but... We can try. Suppose the group in illusions. First trial wasn't effective. There we go. So we managed to do about 450 damage, I think. Don't think that's gonna work, but we'll try it. Chica? There we go. Brantley attacked himself like a big dork. <laughs> that's nice. 
Well, no big duchy. I became more confused. Well, as long as Hassan is doing his thing. That was not the thing we wanted Hassan to do. Um, spell. Cures numbed allies, but I don't have anything that will cure a confused ally. Yeah, shouldn't there be one called like Calm or something? Yeah, no. We'll get our defense up. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, bud. You're okay. That big seal. Just go all out. I think we're gonna have to just kind of get lucky to. Ah! Okay, we did it. Oh boy. Okay, Holsey. Okay, so he's not in here. He wasn't in. Did I like lose him on the second floor? Maybe? Did I soft lock myself? That would be really lousy. I don't even know how I would go about fixing that. Chunk. Get him again. Okay, well, his defense went up, but it doesn't matter because he's gone. See you, dude. Just do that punch every time, dog. Blantly. Blantly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. Why don't I just... Outside. Okay. And then... To whole stock. We did kind of wander around here. Oh, you! I regularly go back and forth to Hokata. I know how to take care of myself. You apparently have trouble with certain monsters, but I like you, Brandley, and I will continue with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deck this little brat. <laughs> I'm gonna just. Just knock him right in the kisser. Now I gotta go do... You apparently have trouble with certain monsters. Listen to this little idiot. He keeps running away and he's being snarky with me about the fact that I died. Not cool. Not cool, Robert Frost. Do, do, do. Okay. We're gonna go heal up, stay at the inn. Oh boy. Here's the thing, I'm pretty sure I'm, you know, I'm pretty well leveled. Uh, I've got good armor. Maybe I just have a sort of like incompatible set of classes. I, I don't really know. But it shouldn't be this bad, you know? Uh, that did something. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Get out of here! Okay, well, at least they were a little tiny. Ah! Rats. There we go. Bam, bam. Ya da ba di ba di ba ba di ba do. Good job. Okay. Da ba da ba di 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 ba
Bada. Okay. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it this time. File. Safety save. We got the silly boy. Are we going to have to defeat the first trial again? I really don't know. I don't know why it would make you. Ugh, so stupid. I just... Therefore, you must fight me to prove your worth. I don't like it. I'm gonna follow orders to start. Spell. I mean, really... Let's try Sandstorm, because maybe it will lower... Is, um, I couldn't read it because I made the text go too fast. <laughs> there we go. Let's do that again. Okay. There we go. It wasn't affected, so the air was sand. First trial, something. Something bad happened to it. Um, I'm gonna try Rock Throw. See if I can't do some DiMaggio. And we'll have Muriel just... Yeah! Take that, idiot! Wasn't bad. Okay. Could have been way worse. Let's go. Shove? I don't think that works with these guys. Um, Spirit Punch. Ah! <laughs> well, it's an extra, like, 60, right? Not too bad damage from the fireball. Let's go! Okay! Head closer to, like, 700. You have passed this test. Prince Holsey has run off because he's a little whiny baby. How many times must we do this, child? I'm gonna drink some coffee. It's been a busy week. Um, that's why this one's going up today. So I'm gonna do a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mostly just because I was busy and got behind and you know, it happens. Like I'm trying to be a little more patient with myself about little things like that. Cause it's not that big a deal. It's, it, look, if this were my business, I stepped out of the way so I wouldn't get hurt. Stupid kid. I hate this kid. He's a whiner and a baby. Look, it's... He's not a whiner and a baby because he's afraid. Everybody's afraid. It's okay to be afraid. He's a whiner and a baby because he's like, I'm so afraid of I, but I want you to do the trial for me so that I don't have to do it. It's like, dog? I don't like it. I don't like how entitled this little kid is. Nice job, Chamorro. Ha ha! Hit him with a rock! Hit it with a rock! Good. Okay. Um. Making our way downtown. Making my way downtown. Only members of the world family. Okay. So. Number two. Next floor. I bet he goes and runs and hides over there somewhere, but... Oh, Piero! Hello, Piero. My name is Pietro. Chica, chica, chica. That snap sound from the whip is incredibly satisfying. I like that sound quite a bit. It's really cool that... I Like, chiptune sounds and... Um, like, 8 and 16-bit sound design is so fascinating to me because you just... It's one thing, I think. What's in here? The small medal. Oh, I don't think there's anything back here. I think it's one thing to make images because, like, I, I don't know, that just... 
feels more intuitive to me in the sense that like we're a very ocular culture. When we think about the early ages of computing, we think about a, like text or images on a screen made of pixels, like that sort of thing. Um, but then thinking about sound design, um, I don't know why I don't want tactics. Restore. Thinking about sound design and how they were able to make it make sounds, like, that's really cool to me. Oh, good. Um, producer of the show, Meg, was telling me about the weather for next weekend, which is hopefully going to be really good. It is producer of the show, Meg's birthday. And also, um, she is... Um, oh man, she is going to a really big, cool art show. Uh, we're going together in Mount Vernon, which is about an hour away. Um, and we're gonna, uh oh, um, we're gonna go and she's gonna like sell her prints and display all her artwork. And I'm, I'm super excited to get to just like hang out with her kind of in her element. Um, like, at a really cool art show. And hopefully see people get really, really stoked um, about the amazing stuff that she makes. Um, I love her work. If you haven't checked out uh, Paint Meg Paint on Instagram. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. This might be a problem. Oh, yeah! He hit him so hard, I turned into Nickelback. Yeah! <laughs> um, maybe I'll get a healing person here. Well, I really thought somebody would heal somebody. Well, we got rid of one of them. Okay, good. No, 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 no! Okay, she's dead. And we got to bring her back to life with our unreliable revivify. Um, Chamorro. Who do you think? I and Muriel was revived. Whoa! That's not it. Oh, this is bummer mixed dumber. Hit these idiots with power. Ah, uh, yeah. Check out Paint Mac Paint or at Paint Mac Paint on Instagram. Um, she, uh, her specialty is watercolor house portraits. She does a lot of watercolor in general. She used to do pet portraits and like really, she has this, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's not like a cartoony style, but it's not realism. So it's like, it's like halfway in between almost sort of like, uh, well, how do I get back there? I don't know how to get around this. Um, kind of, think about, like, if Pixar did watercolors. Like, there is a realism to it, but uh, the edges are kind of soft, right? Um, I just, I, I think it's really, really cool. She doesn't primarily focus on pet portraits or people portraits anymore. Um, she does a lot of house portraits, and I think that's super duper cool. Um, because uh, it, it's... She's fascinated by architecture. Um, and I, coincidentally, not coincidentally, as a result of that, uh, I'm really interested in it too. Like, I, I think it's cool for her to point out things that I've never really noticed, like the styles of houses. And um, how do I get up here? Now I'm just wandering around like a Bebo. Um like what era it was built in and she's like you can usually tell like when a house was built by looking at the style and looking at um like the way the porch is built and does it wrap around and how high is it and what sorts of trim goes on it like i think that stuff is so cool bar bar rah! leveling up even when she's not around okay so we've got to go Back the way I went. I guess I missed something. Oh, we surprised him. Good, good, good. That was a pretty good uh, start there, Miriel. Uh, 
Should get rid of that guy. Should get rid of that guy. And now we're back. Yeah, that uh, first strike was pretty crucial. Excellent. Zabba da beep 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 beep. Let's use. Uh... I know we've got some medical herbs remaining. <laughs> it a medical herb. Yeah, yeah. Nope, don't talk. There's no one there. Well, what about the people? What about the people on my team? What about the people on my team? What if I want to talk to them? We need to talk about our strategy. Ooh, we surprised them again. <sighs> I did my first um, live lecture, not li it wasn't live, but it was like a lecture video of about 20 minutes that I posted on the class for Southern, uh, Southwestern Illinois. How do I get, here we go. Tricky Dave. Um, and let's go no magic, just to make sure. Cause that demon mirror can reflect magic. I'm pretty sure. Um, and uh, I like the way it went. We'll see how it's received. But I just, uh, I played Super Mario World and talked about the chapter. Um, and I just tried to make it like light and fun and, um, you know, just sort of like going over some of the concepts in the text. Uh, just to like, I don't know, sometimes it can just help to hear somebody talk about something. I know there are some students that enjoy listening to lecture notes while they... Ooh, you know what I just thought of? Um, I wonder if I should post the audio of it so that people can just listen to it while they drive, um, or while they work out or something. So they don't have to have the thing. I'm going to do that. I should write that down. I'm a smart guy. Audio of lecture post. Yeah, that's easy to do. All I have to do is... Um, no, not search. All I have to do is uh, take the video and then detach the audio and just uh, export it as an MP3 instead of an MP4 um, and put that up. That'll be, oh, that's cool. I hope it's helpful, right? I'm trying to find ways to... I don't think online learning will ever be like a classroom, but it kind of can't and almost shouldn't be. You have to, there are different challenges and opportunities, right? There are different responsibilities. I think you have to be a student differently to take an online class and to get the most out of it. Um, but that's that way for any kind of class in general, right? A lab class versus a seminar versus a lecture uh, versus like small group classes, right? So uh, it's just trying to find like what works best and what makes me feel like this is secondary, but like what makes me feel fulfilled about being a teacher about that and doing more lecture type things that are available as media in which there can be engagement, especially in like a discussion board forum. That makes me feel more like I'm doing something really cool rather than just kind of like, uh, you know, like, hey, here's the text. You figure it out and then I'll grade you like that's a little less cool to me, but you have with you a member of the royal family, therefore you must fight me to prove your worth. Wow. This guy again. Okay. Tactixio. Go all out. Now hit him! Yes! I think a lot about, um... The movie Fury, which I've talked about on this channel before. Um, it's one of my favorite movies, and I think it's probably one of the best anti-war war movies. Um, because of how ambivalent it should make you feel about the prospect of war. Like, it's really wild. This is going well, I think. It's really wild to, like, watch these tank crews engage in really crucial and necessary and brutal fighting um 
and oh my gosh okay well I would love to win this one for the Gipper huh ah okay I think we gotta go follow orders here spell Vivify. Not enough magic points already! Oh, man. This is bad. How did I run out of magic points? Oops, that was a mistake. That was a really crucial... Ooh, fire. It was a really crucial mistake. Do I have enough? Nope, I have enough to do two heals. Man. Okay, goodbye. Oh man, I gotta leave again. Like I, I... you have passed this test. This stinks. <laughs> it stinks. I keep... Oh, I can't even... Prince Holsey has run off again. I can't even... Uh... Let's go do your best. Neither of us really have magic, so... I can't really do... Um... Oh, please don't. What? That's weird, dog. Goodbye. Oh, man. Can't really do any magic or anything. Hmm. It's just a bummer. It's a bummer feeling like I'm really prepared for this and just like it's so hard to find items that recharge your magic that like it's like normally I would just be like, oops, time to use a um, potion, right? Or not a potion, but like a. Oh, well, that's not where he is. Where are you? Where are you? Um, man, that's a stinker, Rooney. Anyway, I was talking about Fury. There's a, a scene where they're going along uh, down this road in in columns, uh, four tanks. And it's kind of quiet, and then all of a sudden, one the tank in the rear blows up, uh, which is kind of a weird choice. I, I mean, I think they had to do it sort of narratively, but um, oh, nice job, Brantley. Level 28, and yet we're still having major problems. Where is this kid? Ah, oh, gee. Let's try to just run. Um... But anyway, uh, 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 it's, it ends up, there he is, it ends up being a, um, a tiger, um, and it's, it's unclear to me, this is bad, it's unclear to me if it is meant to be a normal tiger or a king tiger, there weren't, there were only a few hundred king tigers made but they're basically like what if we took a tiger tank and made it a hundred percent more tank how do i get down there oh i gotta go around i see um please don't be okay uh but basically it, it wouldn't matter that could have been easy but we've made it this far i won't run away anymore let's go brantley well you're going to have to follow those coffins around. Um, the... No, just do a normal fight. The tiger tanks were so much more beefy than the American Shermans. Um, but the... Oh boy. But the thing about um 
let's see. Barbara the High Wizard is now a high mage. I wonder if I can... I think I can do restore because Brantley has heal, so... Um, but the way that the British and Americans used Shermans, mainly, uh, they also had another one called the M1? M or A1? I don't remember exactly. There was a different tank, but the main one was, was the Sherman. It had a smaller gun. It had a more powerful engine. It weighed less. It was more maneuverable. So, like, one or two shots from, uh a tiger or or a panzer really because they had bigger guns too would would do one of these shermans in but the way that they did tank warfare was they would attack in swarms they would rely on flanking maneuvers they would rely on being able to get through uh terrain that larger heavier tanks wouldn't be able to go through um so the the uh last tank in the column gets taken out it really should have been the first tank in the column because any good german tank commander would have taken out it's not like an Alvin York situation, right? It's not like, we'll take out the guy behind and they won't notice. Like, they notice immediately. They button up, which means they shot all their hatches and they go into, like, fight mode. And then they turn backwards and, and go backwards with their guns facing where the um, where the threat uh, comes from, where the shot came from. And uh, I just love the dialogue there. They're looking, they're thinking um, it might be like a... Uh, a ground gun, which is like an anti-armor uh, fixed position artillery, uh, uh, an 88, which is because it's, I don't remember if it's 0.88 meters or so, I don't know. 88 is like the name of the caliber of round that could be shot by this thing. And that's what they had seen in an earlier battle, but it's not an 88, it's a, uh, it's a tank. And Brad Pitt says, it's not an 88, it's a GD tank. Um, they put, you know, they shoot smoke rounds, they do all this stuff. And their their mission is to get to this location and uh, hold it. And uh, one of the other tank commanders, Peterson, is like, we have to get to the crossroads. Like, we got to get out of here. And the leader of the tank column says, um, unless he drives himself... He, he says one of two things. Uh, I'm going to say poo because he, he says a, a nasty word. He says, unless he drives himself into Pooville ditch, he's our problem. Or he says, unless he drives himself into a poo filled ditch. I personally like Pooville ditch. Like, that's just the name of a place. <laughs> um, but I, it's probably more likely the, the former. But uh, they end up doing this tank fight because it's kind of like we can't just leave this dude sitting there to ambush people. Um, anyway, uh, that whole story is just to say, I like, unless he drives himself into Pooville Ditch, he's our problem. Now hit him! Um, and uh, it's just, it's a good line. I watch that scene all the time because the, the rhythm and the dialogue and in terms of being a tank battle, it's like a six out of 10 because there are kind of a couple kind of unbelievable moments. But in terms of the strategy of it, it's somewhat sound. They should have, they would have likely flanked wider or should have likely flanked wider, uh, but they were also sort of constrained by the, the width of the field. Um and they're thinking about how can we get on top of it as fast as possible. Uh, because the idea is multiple Shermans flanking maneuvers get tanks on multiple sides. Uh, so, because it only has one gun, obviously. But the tank crew um, comes out of cover, which is it, it, like a lot of people are like, oh, it wouldn't come out of cover. But actually, uh, this is reasonable because I don't remember the name of it, but there was this sort of like... Um, uh, 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 in in the German like tank corps and military in general, there's this idea of like seizing opportunity when it comes to you and like taking the initiative and not waiting for orders and, and going at a problem, right? Um, and so it's reasonable that they would have said, well, we can either wait for them to surround us while we're in the brush or we can just come out and go right at them. And that's what kind of creates the tension of this head on head match. Um, but the idea for the Shermans is we have to get on multiple sides of it and hit it where its armor is weaker in the rear of the tank in order to, because our guns just aren't like powerful enough to um, p 
pierce its armor unless we're like right up on it. Anyway, that's uh, that's me talking way too much about the movie movie Fury, uh, which is a thing I've done multiple times uh, and probably should quit doing. But I just it's a great movie. I really really enjoy it. I like the message. I like the acting. I like the the moments in it. Um, and maybe uh, maybe I'll find a different movie to geek out about. Um, we're going to bring our friends back to life and back to reality. I'm going to go stay at the inn again. Looks like Holsey is here. So at least he's around. Boy, I just can't imagine that I would have to do more leveling to beat this. Like, I just don't really know how do i need to like change because muriel is squishy but it was okay until that same guy did one hit on tomorrow i only have two people who have well i only have one person that has a, a revive so i don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure out something we're gonna stick with dragon quest we're not giving up nothing can make me give up my dragon quest it's my dragon quest and i need it now that doesn't make sense we'll see you next time on p plays bye you said, hi, welcome to Pete Place. Hi, welcome to the authoritarian takeover of Pete Place. <laughs> well, everyone does the face of attack. Endlessly spin the ship. Hey, remember when one shark attacked me? Up from the grave here, Thanks for the coins. Here's my poster. The name is Ramen Flowbottom. I hope they remember you, shark. Orlingfen. No, I'm trying to not get hit by these things. <laughs> Everything's normal. Shimbo. <laughs> Okay. Consider this interview concluded.